What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today I will be reviewing the McFarlane DC Multiverse Asriel Batman armor suit So this is an awesome looking figure can't wait to get into the light box What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the articulation the paint and the accessories And you know what I might just give you a little bit of a backstory on him So let's go ahead. Let's get this over to the light box and let's take a look All right, guys, so here is a good look at the packaging. So as you guys can see at the top left corner, it says McFarlane Gold Label Collection. You got the cool little Spawn logo on there as well, too. If you scroll down, you got the DC Multiverse, and it says Azrael Batman Armor. Um, you can also see through the window packaging what comes with it. Um, so it looks like just a card and a stand. All right, guys, and if you turn it to the side, you can see the DC Multiverse logo. It says Azrael Batman Armor, and you got the McFarlane Toys logo on the bottom. On the back of the packaging, you've got this really cool print of Batman, the Azrael. It's from the Batman Nightfall comic series. You got the DC Multiverse logo, and it says Crusade at the top with a little different Batman logo, and the McFarlane Toys logo at the top. And on the side, you've got the same DC Multiverse logo. It says Azrael Batman armor from Batman Nightfall and the McFarlane Toys logo. So before we open this up, I'm just going to give you a quick backstory on Azrael. Azriel, his real name, John Paul Valley Jr., first appeared in Batman Sword of Azriel, number one in October of 1992. John Paul Valley is the first vigilante in publication to go by the name Azriel. He is a genetically augmented assassin and murderous vigilante for the secretive Catholic extremist group, the Order of St. Dumas. While originally an ally and even an apprentice of Batman, Azriel was one to adopt the Batman moniker following the Dark Knight's crippling defeat in the hands of Bane. So pretty cool backstory. I even remember having that comic where Bane defeated Batman and broke Batman's back and then also starting the Nightfall series where he did start to train Azriel. That's why this figure kind of brings back so many of the feels to me because I remember reading those comics as a kid. So other than that, let's go ahead now. Let's get this out of the box and let's take a look. All right, guys, and here is what comes with the figure. So obviously we've got the quintessential trading card that always comes with it, and we've got a figure stand, so there's no other swap out hands or weapons or anything like that. So we have the figure stand right here. Um, this is more of a mat, and then you can see the DC logo has a uh, gloss finish to it. And then we've got this really cool uh, Batman card that comes with it. This is kind of almost reminiscent of the Nightfall cover um, and then on the back we have um, a data file and it basically gives you the whole summary that I just gave you um, it talks about you know how he came about that he was genetically engineered and that also Bruce Wayne trained him to eventually to take over Batman since Bane snapped Batman's back in half so now let's go ahead let's get the figure in the light box and let's take a look all right guys and here is the figure first impressions I love the way it looks it looks awesome um, you know, I do see some issues with it, though, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just take a look at the figure and then we'll get into that. So here's a close look at the portrait. I like that, you know, obviously it stays true to the comic. It's got the red eyes. The gold paint is a nice touch. Um, obviously, you guys can see I got a little bit of an issue right here with some, some staining and some browning. I don't know if that could come off with anything, so I'll have to uh, try um, the cape is a hard plastic again i would like the capes if they were more of a soft goods and they had like a little bit of wiring in them so you could do some posing with it at least um again there's texturing right here which is great um you know again over here i have a little bit of an issue with some marking over here i guess you know quality control didn't do uh you know that good of a job i guess letting this one out um i did see another spot somewhere but Maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. But other than that, the paint on this looks pretty great. Again, I'll have to see if I can get this removed and that removed maybe with some stuff. Um, there's, a, there, there's some more markings right there you guys can see. But overall, I definitely like the appearance of this figure. I think it's really cool. Um, let's go ahead now and let's take a look at the articulation. So as far as the head goes, um, the head goes down pretty far, goes up. You know, the, um, this back piece right here kind of hits so it kind of hinders the head from going too far back um goes side to side pretty well 
up and down, all around, pretty good there. These actually butterfly joints in the arm, which is really cool. So that can go back um, pretty far. You've got double jointed elbows. You do have some pivoting in the wrist. Um, it doesn't go back. Eh, it does go back pretty far, which is pretty good. Um, you do have a pretty decent torso crunch, so it goes forward. Um, goes back with the legs um the leg goes forward yay it goes back but then again it hits part of the butt right there um there isn't there isn't any like quad turning um the knees are double jointed also the cool thing is is that there is some really good pivoting in the ankle and you actually have some toe articulation which is even better um other than that I, I mean, I don't know what more to say. I mean, I wish mine didn't have these paint flaws on them, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool figure. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this thing in some poses. All right, guys, so final thoughts on that Batman figure. Highly suggest picking it up if you could find it. I think it's really cool. Um, I would have liked to see if they maybe would have uh, had some other accessories with it, maybe like some Batarangs or something like that, other than just the card and the regular base. Maybe even if they gave like a flight stand with it, that would be pretty cool as well. But again, $20 price point can't complain but it is a really good figure it's highly articulated which is great um the joints aren't so stiff so it's really easy to pose which is fantastic because you guys will know what it's like sometimes when we get figures that have stiff joints so if you can find it at you know obviously retail again highly suggest picking it up if you are a batman figure collector um Good luck trying to find it on the secondary market for a decent price. I wish you guys all the best. You guys know how it is as well as I do, you know, when we're trying to find figures that we want to purchase. So other than that, guys, that's going to wrap up my review for the Batman Asriel armor suit. So if you guys like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another figure review gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we always offer right here at MCE. And until next time, guys, that's what's popping.